Hello, Earth Signs. Welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a spiritual message for my Earth Signs. So if it resonates, awesome. I appreciate if you subscribe, like, and share to those who you think it will resonate too. I do appreciate you, tribe. If it does not resonate, I do apologize. You could, you could check other placements in your chart. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, the link is down below per usual. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, okay. So the message I was channeling from my Taurus, Capricorns, and my Virgos for whenever you guys receive this message um, is lots of people want to ride with you in the limo, but you want someone who would take the bus with you. So that's the meme I saw. You want to look up angel number 1515 here, okay? Um, and look up what happened on March the 9th, okay, of this year. Something significant happened March the 9th. But anyway, so the message I was getting from that is kind of like, you want your day ones. You want someone who is loyal to you no matter if you are doing good or doing bad. And I feel like a lot of people did a lot of bad to you and you wouldn't do it to them. I just saw 111. So yeah, you thought good things of people, but they turned out to be bad, okay? you But you saw the good in them because everybody has good in them, but you know... Every, you know, people just choose the dark side, okay? So, let's get the energy. I'm going to pick out three cards out of my Hip Hop Queens deck. And this is just three um, personalities for you, okay? I have Guidance here that fell out. I have Leadership, all right? I'm going to shuffle for one more. Where do you have for my Earth signs? And I have Truth. All right. I feel like you're a very honest person. Um, you could you could be a Sagittarius, Capricorn, cuss because Nicki Minaj is a Sagittarius here. And then I have U.S. girls guidance here. But I think of the, the guidance card. I think of this as um three three ancestors here guiding you. Or this could be a lot of women in your family who was who raised you. Okay. But I'm also getting here guidance and leadership you're taking lead of your life i also feel like you're taking guidance from your ancestor and it's leading you to the right direction i feel like this is the only leadership you're accepting here right now i feel like you're not really taking nobody's advice or taking nobody's bullshit it's kind of like the energy is like what my spirit gang said is what it said so you're not taking no like you're you're not listening to no one else like i feel like you're listening to yourself here you're trusting your intuition and you're trusting your spirit game because you know they're telling you the truth i feel like you're being led to the truth i feel like you're able to tell when someone's lying to you um because you're not a liar here so you kind of know when someone's lying because you don't lie so it's something that like i don't know i can't explain it it's kind of like you know when someone's telling the truth here so um i feel like you're a truth seeker here i feel like you've been um reading a lot of like books or re researching a lot of things even on youtube like you've been self-learning on your journey here okay i feel like you're being you're being a leader here in this spiritual journey okay and i feel like um a lot of this is why a lot of people like you getting a lot of minions you like you want like a lot of ooh, i'm stuttering so yeah there's a lot of people that's lying to you <laughs> people's lying like they just flat out like and you be looking at them like what the fuck you didn't even have to lie about that <laughs> i don't know Somebody could definitely have, like, water in their chart here because you could definitely feel energy. You feel when someone's not, like, you are, like, a lie, a, a walking lie detector here. This is the energy I'm getting. People think that you're very, like, people think that you be putting spells on them because I have superstition here. So, people be feel, feel like you putting spells on them, like, you do spell work and shit, like... If you, somebody could have like a lot of tattoos here like you're very rebellious like i feel like you just say no fuck it like somebody could be bisexual here but i have ten of cups with the hair font okay yeah you are definitely a leader you're leading up you're leading your tribe here okay a lot of people you could have like a big social um media platform here or this is what you're about to get like a thousand followers or more followers this is what i'm hearing like you're about to go up to 10k here because like what you say is the truth, okay? People, they see you as the truth, okay? A true leader. Oh, my gosh, look at this. The hair font represents leadership, okay? The truth is, well, the truth is the hair font as well, but, like, people see you as the truth, your platform, your guidance. You're guiding other people here. You're a true leader, 
Okay, and that's why people want to jump on your motherfucking bandwagon because they know that you like I'm hearing people say, Yeah, I knew her, I grew up with her, but were you with me when I was riding the bus stop? <laughs> Where were you when I was riding this damn bus? But you wanna ride him out. I see somebody rolling up the window like you ain't getting in this limo, motherfucker. <laughs> so I do see you like acting like you don't know these people. Because these people, they treated you bad here. Okay, this could have been even family. Because I got the Ten of Cups. This could be family that you dub in here with the Queen of Swords. I told you, like, you're not playing with nobody. And this is a true secret. This is somebody who's focused on their goals. And they're not um, they're not about to listen to a small violin, okay? Because I feel like people want to give you these lies. And I feel like you're just like, whatever. Like, you're the true secret here. Like, you observing, lie, walking lie detector. You're like, I know you're fucking lying to me. Okay, so I... I feel like you're becoming more discerned okay your discernment is your intuition is very heightened because there's a lot of purple here so i feel like intuition is very heightened here your intuition is bust wide the fuck open okay with the princess of pentacles and the devil card people are very obsessed with your energy you're in your energy right now you're very well grounded you be you need to go if you are not going but i feel like you are you you tapped in you're very well grounded people are obsessed with that energy i feel like people are trying to attack you here okay i feel like um you might want to follow my facebook brietta williams i post weekend vibes and my weekend vibes this week i forgot which sign it was you might want to check it out but i was saying how somebody's coming out of the matrix and fighting low vibrational people so this is you that had to fight low vibrational people but i feel like you did it so effortlessly like yeah you defeated it you defeated all these scenarios these situations like somebody could have try to argue with you try to compete with you try to talk down on your slander your name whatever it is they try to sabotage you it did not work it's not working okay somebody's trying to put a lot on you it did not work you stay so calm throughout this whole thing and because you let spirit gain uh do what they needed to do to protect you here okay i feel like you're learning how to protect your energy it could be with herbs or like um some type of fire okay firework here like this could be like incense saging um meditation in the in the like heat or something like or in the sun sunbathing here yeah with the four of pentacles you're protecting your energy with the scorpio energy with the death card here i don't even know why i said scorpio so you could have scorpio on your chart this could be your north node here or your the way you love but i feel like you're protecting your heart here i feel like you're protecting your energy because you're learning people take advantage of you when you open up to them they easily lie to you in your face but you always know the truth with the hermit card i feel like You've been there, done that, okay? So you've been down in this dark place, but you overcame that and you because you carry the light with you all the time. No matter what bad situation was thrown at you, the light within you would never let you get sucked in to that darkness with the judgment spirit always came to save you here i'm also feeling like you're enlightened right you you self-mastered something your self-mastery here this is why you're becoming a leader this is why your spirit can trust you with information here and to like they've given you a lot of recognition so you are hidden for a reason okay with the hermit mode you could be a Virgo, but I feel like you were hidden for a reason. You were hidden because there was a lot of things you need to work on. Like, yeah, you had a light within you, but you didn't know how to tap into that light. But now that you tapped into that light, I feel like you are coming out of the night. Because you see how this is like the sun behind them, and this is the moon. So you're learning how to balance your masculinity and your feminine energy here, okay? You're learning how to love and be loved, okay? But you're also learning how to protect your heart from breaking here just like masculines do you could have a lot of masculine in you okay you could be a capricorn i think earth science is a masculine energy isn't it so with the um moon i feel like full moon is coming so i feel like it's it's great for you to work with the full moon but i feel because spirit's about to like bring you into something some type of recognition here okay whatever goal you've been manifesting it's coming but i feel like spirit is bringing a lot of a lot of your tribe to you here you see these arms people waving this is you like people see you i'm not trying to say they see you as a god but they see you as a true leader a true divine like they see you as the chosen one here okay they know that you are the chosen one when people even though they don't know like when you enter the room they feel the energy has shifted into something high okay because with the sun this is high energy you get in rooms you need to work with rooms are you in es okay you could have Leo in your chart here, but I'm feeling like um, 
you're getting a lot of recognition a lot of people are watching you. A lot of people are obsessed with your energy here. I feel like you do things out of the kindness of your heart. And this is what makes it more beautiful. Okay, somebody could have a bob here. Somebody's definitely tapping into their roots. So this could be you definitely tapping into where you came from with your ancestors. Like your ancestors is guiding you to your roots here. Okay, somebody could be from Egypt. Somebody could be Kemetic here. Somebody, somebody could be Muslim or something like that. Uh, I'm getting Kanite, Kanite, K-H-A-A-N-I-T-E. It keep popping up in my head. So I feel like somebody's Kanite, Kyanite. Or is it C-A-A? -A? I, don't, I don't know. That's what Spirit just said for somebody. Somebody could be um, from Ireland, Barbados, Brazilian. Okay, but you're still a black descendant. This is what your ancestors wanted you to know. Because, like, I feel like somebody who's Brazilian, maybe somebody's family is from Brazilian. But they're like, oh, we're not black. We're not we're not melanin. But you, they really are. So your descendants are from black if you're Brazilian. With the four of cups and the two of cups here, yeah, there's a lot of information that is not being told to you. I don't know. I feel like this is the energy I'm getting. It's like somebody made a... a, a a secret like somebody made a promise not to tell you something this could definitely be in your lineage your family lineage here like somebody's not being told the truth here some and somebody's keeping a really watchful eye on you so that you won't know the truth okay this could even be some a uh, higher like an ancestor here <sighs> But I feel like a, a, a ancestor is about to tell you the truth or lead you to the truth about a family secret here. It, or an ancestor secret. Yeah, Six of Swords upside down. Somebody don't want you to know this because this information would definitely be healing to you. Okay? But I feel like you're about, you're about to be... You're going to do what you want to do. You're going to find this information. Okay? I'm also getting with the Six of Cups. Yeah, something when you were a child. And the King of Cups and the Eight of Cups. You could definitely have water in your chart. You might want to check it out. It could be something to do with your father here. Somebody knows who your father is. Or there's like a father that is dead. That like is going to lead you to some information on his side of the family. 12-12. Okay. Yes. Somebody could have definitely walked away from a, from a past life lover here. And is going towards a soulmate. Okay, somebody who could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, like you. Because I'm getting heavy on the water here. So somebody, so this could have even been like your parents. Like you could have been created out of wedlock, but reality is the father really did love your mom. That's for somebody. Um, but they couldn't be with it because some, back in the day it was something to do with marriage and they were scared to get a divorce from a karmic. But this could also be you in a situation where you're like going towards your soulmate, even though you're married to your karmic here. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like you're being led to to your soulmate. Earth signs with the high priestess and the queen of wands. Um, or your soulmate could have like passed away here and they're guiding like, I don't know, something like that. Something like that. I don't know, y'all. Y'all got it. So many of y'all. Queen of Wands with the High Priestess here. I'm getting Pisces or um, Aries energy. But I'm getting like you are... You're going to find out a secret here. Somebody definitely been keeping a secret. Somebody don't want you... This could be a feminine energy here who is like really like mad at you. This could be a mother who is always treating you like shit here. Um, who's going to be... Who is asking for forgiveness yeah, the Tower and the Eight of Wands. Oh my God, this is confusing, you guys. I'm not going to hold you. With the Eight of Wands and the Tower, yeah, some communication is about to come in that's about to shock you with the Emperor. It could have something to do with a father or like a, a motherly figure who is very obs like obsessive with you or something. I'm, I'm getting like, it's going to help you though. This is going to help you, bring you together with some information. Tell me why I forgot to get the soul pop. Oh my God, y'all. I forgot the... Uh, surrender i can release my need to control and guilt i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's gro growth so something is going to help you surrender from guilt from feeling guilty about something that happened when you were younger or something like that okay like i said you persevere you overcame everything that was trying to fight against you these are like this this could have been a karmic family who was trying to um end you here okay who was trying they knew you were the chosen one and now that everybody else know that you're chosen they're kind of trying to get back on the bandwagon after they try to hurt you 
okay um spirit about to expose these people okay because they wasn't riding with you in the in on the bus okay this this doesn't even have to be this could be friends family exes whoever did you wrong and you ain't do shit to them but love them yes health I feel like you're focused on your health here. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So it's just time for you to focus on your health. Um, like, don't let these people, like, reserve your energy and um, eat more greasy, green, green leaves. Like, more green leaves or, like, green vegetables. I have, or green smoothies as well. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. You're learning how to adapt to change, adapt to troubles, like overcome obstacles here, because this is what you were built for. This is why you are you like you built for it, made for this. You're tough. So don't feel like what you went was in vain here. You had to overcome these obstacles to become the person you are today. And this is why I'm getting a lot of green. So you're about to get a lot of green, baby. OK, like that's period, because you are learning how to be a leader. You learn to be a leader, okay? You learn to learn. You learn to trust your spirit gang, and they're about to reveal everything that you that needs to be revealed in your life, so you can go to this next level, which has a lot to do with green. This is good health, money, success, abundance, and a lot of recognition, a lot of fame, but good fame in a good light, not a bad light, okay? So. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, green and ancestor as well. I'm getting ancestor money, but also ancestor knowledge. So you're about to get a lot of knowledge here. So till next time, guys, I hope you like this video.